Hi, my name is Gay Smith. I'm the tech manager for Chrysler Americas, and I want to make a short video about orchid care. Um, uh, don't you just love them? Orchids are just so popular in all different kinds of sizes, shapes, colors, and so forth, but customers are confused about what's the proper care. So today I just want to show you a new innovation that is makes it super easy for customers to get it right, and that is the Chrysol Food Drops. They come in both in the orchid food drops and also for, for green plants. Um, keep in mind, when we're talking about the care and handling of cut flowers, we're talking about something that has been cut and that has a finite vase life left, potential left to it. But when we're talking about plants, the treatment is, is far different. It's not finite. We're talking about uh, continuing the growth and the flowering of a plant or a green plant, really nurturing it to keep going on. So when we talk about flower care, we, we use verbiage like flower food to actually feed the flowers until they die. But when we're talking about plants, we really are fertilizing the plants. It's plant food, which is the same concept except that it's going into the soil and it's a sustained process. So don't be confused about the difference. Cut flowers, we're just slowing down the ultimate death process, but with living plants, we're going forward and taking them month after month, year after year. Okay, now with orchids, um, a couple things. First thing, first thing first is remind your customers not to love them to death. Orchids absolutely have to have oxygen into their uh, root area. So no matter what, if they come in a pot or a uh, some kind of pot cover, you don't want the customer to water in the pot. You don't want those roots to sit in standing water. That will just absolutely drown, just like us. They need oxygen to keep regenerating and keep growing. So orchids need to be watered outside of their pots. They also need to be watered maximum once a week, once every 10 days is absolutely sufficient in most cases. Perhaps you are very hot or warm, maybe more frequently than 10 days, but I find that 10 days is, is otherwise I love them to death. Um, secondly, customers are always crazy to repot their orchid. They, they look there and they see just bulging with the roots and they feel like, oh no, those roots, they, there's not enough room. Orchids love to have their roots crowded. So remind them, after they buy their orchid plant from you, they don't need to repot it at all, at least for a year, if not longer. Um, again, these flowers, they look so delicate and the plants just seem so pretty and actually they're quite sturdy. So. What, what we do is, when we water, we use the orchid food drops, and on the back of the food drops, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but there's a calendar there. There's one drop makes a quart of um, uh, orchid fertilizer, and you have six drops here to get you through the year. So the customer can keep track and just tick off what month they've actually uh, fertilized. They're very easy to use. The drop themselves they come up something like this. You just cut it open and pour the drop into a quart of water. Got to squeeze it here, get it out of there. Yep. And um, then you're you're good to go. It's liquid. So the the beautiful thing about liquid uh, plant foods and also liquid flower foods is that they're immediately mixed. There's no waiting around for the grains to dissolve or whatnot. So now you've got your orchid food ready. You, I, In my case, I always pour it in something, um, a container, a bowl in the kitchen sink, something that is, I can actually let the orchid plant sit in, place the pot in, and let it sit for at least 10 minutes. I, I usually let my plants sit for about an hour, my orchids, so that they can really grow up. They, they don't have any soil. Orchids grow in bark or in moss. So you really need to re-wet that completely. And keep in mind when you're mixing your food, use tepid water. Orchids, they don't like cold feet. So if you live in an area that cold right from the tap is quite cold, you might want to just use, it doesn't have to be hot water, but just very neutral, tepid is perfect. Let your orchid um, sit for uh, at least 10 minutes, up to 60 minutes, and then let it sit out and 
let the pot drain completely for another hour or two before you're putting it back into your, because once you put it in your clay pot, your deco pot, then there's very little air circulation in the root zone. And a healthy orchid is always easy to see because you'll have, uh, you'll be obviously, you'll be able to obviously see green roots. People always ask, what shall I do with it after it blooms? Once it blooms on Phalaenopsis, you can either cut it all the way down the, the flower stem, once the flowers are withered, you cut it all the way off, and then it needs to sit and rest for about six weeks in temperatures about 60 to 65 degrees. It still needs light, it will still continue to photosynthesize, but the um, plant needs to rest to regenerate a new bloom spike. After it's sat in a cool area for six weeks, then you can bring it back up into whatever area you display it in, and uh, you should be able to see, you'll, you'll see new foliage will be initiated and then finally a new flower spike will come out. The, the orchids are kind of interesting. They actually will, each one of these nubs or knuckles on the stem is the area of new growth. So if I cut this bloom spike when it's finished, if I would cut it off here, because there's a knuckle right here, I would get another spike coming out that way. So you can manipulate it a little bit, very much like you would prune your, um, your outdoor roses. Wherever there's a knuckle or a dormant growth point, that's where the next spike will come out. If you like to get some height and get full glory on the end of the spike, take the spike all the way down and let the plant regenerate a new one. Uh, finally, if you are living in areas that are really hot and you have AC, which is cold and dry air, or it's very cold and you have the furnace running a lot, keep your plant in diffuse light, no direct sunlight, although it does need light, but just nothing direct. And then you can definitely take Hawaiian floral mist and spray both the foliage and the blooms. And that just helps spray maybe, maybe two times a week at the most. And that helps completely uh, keep the, the flower and the foliage from losing too much moisture. So otherwise that's about it. Orchids, they're beautiful, they look very delicate. Actually they're not. Thank you.